Hello. I want to share a story with you that happened to me personally earlier this week. Like many of you, I was scrolling through my email and I came across a solicitation for something that I thought had some kind of application in my business itself. And so I clicked on that particular link, which led me to a page where I could download a series of resources and tools to review for a very small nominal fee. I did that, and I found the information to be reasonably useful. Very shortly after that, by an hour or so, I received another solicitation from that very same person or company asking me to schedule a free meeting with the person who had provided these free resources. So I was already engaged. I liked what I had seen. I'd, I had even gone so far as to pay a small fee to get the resources. This person and I then scheduled our conversation and we had about a half hour chat and the person had some really good sound advice or thoughts to share with me that I could potentially apply in my own business. Things were going very well in the conversation. I was interested, in fact, in hearing more. And while I didn't share this with him immediately, I even would have considered either purchasing more products from him or perhaps doing some kind of uh, purchase of his services that I could then integrate into how I approach my own business. What happened, though, was he reached the end of what would be a, considered his pitch, and he fell silent. And I stopped asking questions, and I fell silent. And as you very well know, if there's any kind of silence for a duration of more than a couple of seconds, it seems to form a vacuum, and people feel compelled to jump in and say something. Very often, the person who speaks first tips their hand in terms of what they're willing to concede or do or agree to, etc. He was silent. I was silent. And it went for, I'm sure, what felt like a very uncomfortable amount of time for him. He then concluded the conversation by just saying, well, you have my email. If you ever want to chat again, let me know. He never asked for the order. I was somebody who had already demonstrated I would be I would be a very good customer of his. I paid for his initial resources. I scheduled the meeting. Through the course of the meeting, I was engaged, involved, asking questions. But when it came time to actually ask me to pay for something additional, he did not pursue it. He opened the door, but forgot to close. Please don't do that. Sales is really not that hard. He was demonstrating value. But when I saw that he couldn't even get the words, can we do further business? Would this help you? What would it be worth to you? Anything that would transition to introducing whatever his offer was, he couldn't get the words out. Not a very good salesperson, and therefore I changed my entire opinion of just how helpful he would be. Hope this little story of a real experience helps you to understand if we're going to demonstrate our value, at least close the door by saying, can I help you further? Are there further things we can do together or anything that helps you get to the point where you can make a sale? Hope this is uh, something you'll keep in mind as you continue and evolve and move forward in your career.